Welcome back to lesson practice for lesson 61, remaining fraction and two-step equations. Here we go. Let's begin. They want to know, this is really important, they want to know what is not shaded. Saxon is famous for doing this on tests, the, uh, tricking you into thinking you want to answer what is shaded. Please note, they want to know what is not shaded not shaded. And we look at this and we know that our denominator is going to be six because it's in six pieces and we have one, two, three, four, five. Five, six of it is not shaded. Hallelujah. Our next one, three-fifths of the people finished the race. Of the race was over, what fraction of the race was left? We know just by, if we were to subtract three from three parts out of the five, we know that two-fifths is still going. Now our next one is two times n equals two plus eight. So we first work with what we know. Two plus eight is 10. And two times something equals 10, and we know that that is five. So n equals five. And finally, I've got to give you a little heads up. This was mentioned just very casually in the book. When you see two numbers with a dot in the middle, that is another way of saying that the numbers are being multiplied. So 2 plus n equals 2 times 8. We don't know what n is until we figure out this part of what's 2 multiplied by 8. Don't forget, the dot means multiply. 2 times 8 is 16. So 2 plus n equals 16. Now I can say n, excuse me, little pen, n equals 16 minus 2. Because I'm adding on one side, I'm going to subtract on another. And that lets me know that n equals 14. So see how I took my 2? and I've moved it over here. I subtracted it on this side and I subtracted it on this side. And that ends up giving me 14. Plug it in, we say two plus 14 equals two times eight. And it all works out wonderfully. Good luck on the homework. Let me know if you have any questions. I will talk with you then.